Hello, people. Today, we are not doing a podcast. We're not doing any sort of clips or anything like that. This is a gameplay. I don't usually play video games. Um, I mean, not much anymore. I don't really have time. But this particular one piqued my interest because it seems a lot like uh, Bioshock, which I, I love Bioshock Infinite. I think I have like maybe 115 hours of that game, and it's like a it's like a 10 hour game. I've played it like four times. Um, a little bit like Bioshock. I, I've heard it has like puzzle, puzzle type situation. So this is Atomic Heart, brand new. Um, not only is it a brand new game, but it's from a brand new developer. So you don't have. So this is their breakout. So you can tell it, you know, usually with breakout games, the people that are creating them are passionate about it because they're, they actually like what they're doing. And it's not a, like, it's not a job. It's like, Hey, this is what I'm, this is what I'm bringing to the table. This is our chance to show the world what we've got. So I'm excited to play it. Um, I really like when new games come out, even if it's not a brand new idea, like, I mean, this is a, it's like set in like an alternate history Russia where they got tons of technology and uh, kind of like rule the world or something. We'll find out. I don't know much. I've, I've tried to stay away from the trailers and stuff, but that being said, let's get right into it. It actually runs like super, super crispy. We're going to go medium difficulty. I just don't want to have to deal with uh, dying all the time. The more I die, the more I have to edit these clips, and it's like, okay, do I really want that much work for myself? Holy shit, this thing's loading quick. But I have noticed this game's like crazy optimized. Like my computer is not that good. It's like a 2060, and like a really old school, not like old school, but not good CPU but it it runs really, really pretty on my place. computer good vibes the cello May complex was built from the ground up to be okay I say that and then I instantly dip below 60 frames per second so let's see what's going on here let's go for balance on the DLS this is the funnest part of any uh any gameplay people love watching people mess around with their settings over and over again The ideal comfortable work. Okay, we're Can't back. I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Very Bioshock. The people even kind of look like Bioshock. Oh shit, I'm rowing. I'm rowing this bitch. Modern science and technology. Modern science and technology. Wait, so the city does float. We're actually in a floating city. Including the German SSR. Germans? You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. So it is kind of Bioshock. I guess, are we in a floating world? And we have to be like the smartest people of all time. Some more soda, comrade? Comrade? Um... Yes. Sure. Oh my. Sure, thanks. You have no time to react to those things. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. Wait, who said age is just a number? Dude, someone check that guy's hard drive. Wow, what a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. This is a beautiful day in Soviet-ruled Russia, I gotta say. Communism looks pretty good from this angle. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Dude, pick up the speed. This guy's going so slow with Give his spinner. Code. I'll set him straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Hold piggy. Oh, thanks, God damn. Code 0451. 
Zero four five one. Am I supposed to, to supposed to remember that for later? Is this gonna come in handy? Zero four five one. Thanks a million. Yeah, they Enjoy picked the, the robots. Zero four five one. Zero four five one. Zero four five one. Future reference. For future reference, you know. Good morning, my boy. How are uh, you? Good morning, my Did boy. You sleep well? Good morning, Doctor Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device Dude, myself. those guys up there kind of look careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule integration. today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Mikhail, Mikhail Stockhausen. Mikhail. Imagine going by Mikhail instead of Michael. Honestly, sounds so cool. Oh, shit. Oh, he's juggling with his freaking... You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions for once. I like these old-timey cars. You dickhead. You dickhead. God damn, dude. My guy's pissed. You dickhead. This place is kind of <laughs> like a... Uh, Soviet Russian Disneyland. I want to go watch this guy freaking do his thing. Hey, that bot's actually pretty good. Nice coordination. That's kind of crazy. You just praise a robot? I'm amazed. That's because it's not constantly trying to give me unsolicited advice. <laughs> Look at him go. That is programming for you, dude. All right. Hey, what's up, dude? Actually, kind of the facial. Or astronomer with a thought device, you can train for any profession in no time. Okay. Cool. Thank you. What's up? What's going on over here? What are you looking at? Is a huge step to the road in science. What's up, dude? Okay. Don't, don't mind me, dude. These robots really do look like a. <laughs> they, they look messed up, <laughs> bro. Step right up. You can become part of Collective with a thought device, comrade. Thought device. Good day, comrade. What's up, dude? Come closer. I'm here to help. Yeah, Do you like okay. a thought device? I'll take it's one. High time you got one. No, thanks. I'm just oh, browsing. I think I already got one, actually. Is that what my glove is? Why restrict yourself to browsing when you can get your own personalized device this very instant? Ah, uh, he's trying to sell me. I can even help you pick out the right unit. It can even match your eye color. Hey, how about a gooseberry violet model, huh? Um, you are polymerized, aren't you? I sure am. Say, I thought these devices weren't going to come online until Monday. That's right, comrade. But judging by your uniform, you are clear to activate your thought neuroconnector right away. At the moment, the device functions as a personal telephone set and headlight. Wait, wait, wait. This guy just said we're not on the moon yet. Get used to wearing it on their head. Okay, I'm good. Uh, no. It's free, right? Oh, it's free? Absolutely. Oh. Allow me to connect you. Oh, shit. All right. Dead ass. All right, then. Free loot early in the game? Okay, do I get to pick my color? Do not go for the... Alright. Fine. Pink is... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Are you in my head right now? Oh, that's odd. I can't seem to access your biometric data. Maybe there's some sort of malfunction. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't sweat it. I'm not really a jewelry guy anyway. So long. I do apologize. Have a great day. Damn, dude. Hey, you. Got scammed. Experimental glove. I get the feeling you'll be more useful than this goofy contraption on my forehead. Does this guy Since got you're one? So special and all. You'll see how special I am soon enough. But you ought to refer to me as Charles. A chatting artificial librarian and educational system. Charles. I'll call you whatever I feel like. Glove. Oh. Glove. What up, dude? 
grab some tea. The TV show's starting. I like the intro of these places because you can kind of get an idea. But there's like a lot of stuff to interact with. <laughs> oh, yo, dude, you look bald as hell, my man. You don't even. But I'm just passing through. Fucking shave that shit too. That shit's shiny. Got that screen space reflections. What's up, dude? Buy a copy of the facility Herald, I don't like your voice. Breakthroughs abound. Biology. They could have added, added eyebrows. And just in time for universal polymerization. You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? Yes. Um, oh, I get some options here. Okay. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? What's new in robotics? So what's up? Uh, what's going on in bio biology right now? I'm going to ask about gunsmithing. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. Okay. They say he's expecting to increase power by a factor of three to five. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin at a shooting range, of course. Of course. Definitely not. Definitely not going to be shooting Thanks things lot, probably shortly. I gotta go. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, our newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Can I just get the information from you? Comrade Major, may I remind you that I can display information about our surroundings on your retina? It won't make you any smarter, but it will make it easier to read. Use your glove's built-in menu. <sighs> Lousy prick. How do I do that? How do I use my built-in menu? Can we get the atom in the picture too? Oh, oh, are you taking a picture? Uh, everything up to there should be in the picture. It'll look great. Here's an idea. I'm a lady from the future and you're my soldiers. Let me get in. Let me get in this photo. Say cheese. Let's take another one. Any ideas? Yeah. You and Anatoly stand like the worker and the Okay, yeah. How about you get in the middle and then I'll do like this and yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cheese. Can I move now? Yeah, I want to see the picture. <laughs> Please tell me I'm in this. I'm not in it. I'm not in it. God damn it. Okay, I want to talk to you. What's going on over here? I like to explore everything before I start getting into the combat shit. Interesting. I'm old enough to remember such enough. enough pitching the concept before the I'm old enough to remember. Back in my day we didn't have none of these robots around. Okay. Nice dancing. Cool. Another scientist trying to sell me on some shit. Holy shit. Look at all their freaking robots. Hey, you want to work here, huh? What do you do for work? I'm a senior technician. Wow. So you make robots? Oh, no. Nah. I'm a city tech. You for uh -huh. are the ones making the robots. I'm just a small town guy. Small, I'm just a small town guy. Learn about the history of facility 38. Jesus Christ, dude, those Your eyes. Great discoveries and pay your respects to all the Okay. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Hold up. Just like in China. You've been to China, comrade major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. <laughs> dude, your forehead's and fucked up. I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Yeah, I don't know who these people are, but dude, this guy's got a majestic ass beard. Dude, nice, keep it up. Dude, you're scrubbing a rock, you know that, right? Okay. I'm not gonna buy anything from you. 
That robot is known as a Beliac. <laughs> like a fried dobo? But why? Beliac? A welder robot. Interesting. Plus, robots can't fry anybody. It's against their programming to harm a human being. Okay. So where am I going exactly? Oh. Oh. Slow down, son. Slow down. Slow down, son. I fought in 15 wars. Cool, cool. Oh, this is a translation. Oh, it's first man space flight. 1951. Cool. Okay, guys, pause if you want the lore. You fought in the war, comrade major. Oh, I fought Did in the war. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Okay. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. Ooh. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Crispy critters. So I was in the war. I'm a war vet. Show some respect. Get the fuck out of here. I still can't believe the stars can be so close. Okay, who's this guy? A, a worker. Cool. What's up, babe? Major Nachai reporting for duty. On yeah, Comrade I'm a big deal. Direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then you have yeah, to returns. Yeah. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of I don't Dr. Like your voice. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment mm -hmm. on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become okay. an educated member of society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want like, to learn like, Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics. Like the Matrix. Yeah, download information. With Collective 2.0, okay. you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that, skip the foreplay. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Efficacious? Nevertheless, you gotta will bust still out a need dictionary? an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been Agent informed P3. of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Take this capsule. Yo. Okay. What am I going to learn now? What am I downloading? What information am I downloading? Oh, they're playing some nice uh, ballet music. Russians love their ballet. Not racist, if it's true. Also, like, ice skating and gymnastics. And doing steroids during the Olympics. I love that shit. It's all them. All right, you I got loaded up. You upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially okay, eyes. your eyes, polymer retina. To activate okay. the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please special choose an object gesture. of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to oh, activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Oh. You just give everyone... Dude, L. Take it. All right, scanner, hold L. Oh, that's not... Okay. Demon, be gone. L. For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever Dada. that guy's been smoking. Dadaism. He's been smoking Didn't that Zaza. You say you were in a hurry just Zazaism. Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. Yeah, keep you are scanning. now capable of seeing hidden objects. Oh. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now. Please continue with your mission. Oh. Interesting. This is pretty cool. Wonder if this lets me see in the dark. Alright. I assume I'm, I'm good to go. 
Damn, dude, you got a little bit of a belly going. What's Welcome, up, dude? Comrade. That's some interesting art you got there. Oh, that's him? You like it? They were made by robots for this festive occasion. <laughs> um, yeah, they, uh... I'll ask him if he's celebrating, too. You're celebrating, too? Naturally, we are part of Collective 2. For us robots, universal polymerization is our goal. Our duty, even our feet of labor. Would you like me to explain in more detail? No, 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 no. Thanks we're good, anyway. we're good. I'm in a hurry. It says it's coming. So I, I don't like how... Um, Yo, you guys don't need chairs. They're so strong, they don't need chairs. Look at those glutes. Dude, this is why they got such good glutes, man. This guy's working out. Dude, no one needs chairs. Is my game glitched or are these people just so freaking shredded that they don't need chairs? This guy kind of looks like E.T. Okay, it's coming. So apparently the polymerization is coming, whatever that means. I do like the classical music in here. It's nice. It's a nice vibe. Oh, shit. Don't mind if I do. I feel kind of like I'm uh, interrupting something. A lot of people are going to see me climbing up here. Greetings, comrades. Greetings, comrades. And this is facility 38. Jesus. Oh, there he is. The greatest event in the history of a man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary victory. But this game sounds cool in Russian. Okay, so today they're. I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been the lobby of that high rise in the last few decades. They're waiting for you. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymers and the process of genetic adaption, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide, all-encompassing version of the Collective 2.0 network. Collective 2.0. network of humans and robots. Ah, we're merging with... He's Elon Musk. And finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor, and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility 3826. Name I could have a better ring to it. 3826. The, the neural connector thought. Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind. My neck's starting to hurt, actually. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind Free of all boundaries. Dude, it is Thanks Elon Musk. Thought neural connector, you will control robots with your mind. Ah. Oh. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. Dude, this is literally Elon Musk. It's possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain Dude. and your personal thought devices is Elon Musk wants to do that Neuralink shit. injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization, where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five so minutes. So glad to see you're taking it easy, the Comrade Major. The car is waiting. Comrade, you must go to Dr. Sechenov's office of for the access call. Union, join your 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 left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind. Okay. Explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. 
I guess he just keeps on going there. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just oh, so hammer nice. and sickle there. Our elevator has arrived. Get your thought device today and become Homo Futuro among the first. Their Damn, this is a clean ass elevator, man. Yours. Oh, no door though. Um, I I can't s like. Oh, this is glass. It's glass. I see. And there's a red. Oh, so this is the wait. What? Oh, that's a. Oh, it's a chandelier. I was confused. I'm like, is this a reflection or? All right. So pretty much, he's Elon Musk, trying to get Neuralink, everyone connected with robots so that we expand and we can download information like the matrix pretty neat so far um obviously something's gonna go wrong maybe the dude's insane or uh maybe there's a glitch in the matrix and shit explodes but um nice drapes dude nice drapes always wondered, like, this is skyscraper. How do you get this much marble into a skyscraper? Like, how do you move it? Talk about style. Science is power, oh I tell you. Oh, my God. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. Okay, the music's a little loud. Also, I, I heard one thing. Apparently, there was a rumor that there was a six-hour sex scene with these girls. It was proven to be fake, but no obstacle, science trust me, you can find it if you look hard enough online, probably. Here's your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. God damn. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I Couple ever do with that? Damn. Dude, why'd they make them so th freaking sl slim thick? Okay. Damn. Damn. Got that. Yeah. Damn. Get to the turbine. That's our new mission. Section off here. Sorry, I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all why, day. Why am I his boy? So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born Dude, to dream. My name is P3. Great things. It's lame. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Oh, I, I'm Sergei. I'm sworn to defend mankind I'm so and gay. its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there oh, and take sure. you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting in the car right now. Okay. I am getting in the car right now. Oh, is the parade over? Well, that was quick. All right, so we're going to the car. Oh, the parade sounds like it's still going on. Not my car. Not my car. 
My car. Damn, what is this, a Cadillac? It's a Typen Tippenyak. Ooh. Remote start. Sick ride, man. All right, let's, let's cruise. Do I get a drive, actually? Oh, oh, oh. Please uh, secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Oh, shit. Is this going to pick me up? Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? <laughs> Yo, let's cruise. The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, with I just came from one of them. Get it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic oh, workers from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. There Yo, unemployment, yeah, robots do everything. Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyorsk. How about some music? Yeah, yeah. That's more like it. That is more like it. I love this song. Oh, that's the room I was just in. Where the two babes were at. Are they in there? With the planes crashing down? Why do they have a float? Like two floating planes in there. Ah, uh, Isakla! I love this freaking song, dude. Yo, this is literally a floating city. city. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't That's surprise sick. me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, Ooh. is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. One time some genius like all these you places? forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. Looks like I have a panels. suggestion, comrade major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. So Shut why did they the choose up, the glove. sky instead I'm of just building on the listen. ground? To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I what? don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Oh. What? Yeah, this place looks pretty badass, though. Definitely inspired by... Bioshock Infinite, which I, I mean, I, like I said, love that game. No hate on me. No hate from me. I like it. Oh. Okay. 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 Riding in a car in the sky. That's all you're going to get. Henry Mack. What's that guy's name? Fred. What's his name? Henry Mack, the guy that you just like. The rapper, you just drop them this words. This is facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Uh -huh, Estimated time of arrival ground. is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. Thank you. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department oh. and a personal project of Dr. Lebedyansky. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the lady with the sword. She's been... I've seen her statue multiple times. The and an then the guy with the giant. Plant. Performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Amazon Prime! Dude, they got Amazon Prime in Russia. Dude, so he's Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. Directly That's a lethal combo. Is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. Dude, this is exactly how we I imagine Jeff Bezos' house, Sunflower though. Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. Comfort and ease. Got it. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, ah, the erected motherland. in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, oh. and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. So, you are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed Soviet by sculptors Sickle, Lena yeah. Mukina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Ah. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic mm -hmm. scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Yep, yeah, sure. Yeah, sign me up, man. You had me at uh um... the trophies initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? Whoa, 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 For real? Whoa, whoa. Watch out! What am I supposed to do about For it? Safety, what the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Oh shit. Oh shit. Combat maneuvers. You have reached your destination. Okay. You are now at laboratory eight of the Babylon Principal Grand Facilities. Jesus day. Christ. Take my hand, comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov complex. Okay, thank what you. What the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have Jesus. been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Not you, though, right? Not you, though? Oh, what the hell I are you slipped. doing, oh, lousy oh. bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very Jesus. rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Oh, oh, thank you. Seems op operational. Oh, oh, bitch. oh, yo, oh my. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us to Jesus. Son of a bitch, not again. Oh, help me, comrade major. I'm falling. No, what the oh, shit. Oh, oh. oh. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Jesus, oh, dude. Fuck. Am I gonna, am I dead? So, so do I die? Is this the part where I die? I die and become a robot? Any normal person would would die, right? You get like glass shards in you. Ooh, cutscene. This is an emergency communication. There has been a critical incident with the American Forces. My robot's like, dude, get up. Damn, I got that fresh cut though. So shit's gone hay haywire. God damn. Uh, Dude, you're 
good, dude. Walk it off. Killing me. Get some water, my man. Dude, he looks Russian as hell. All right. Oh. I've got the force. Oh, you see how that's golden? That's because I paid for the bundle. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right? Uh, dude, you, you got to stop calling me Sergey. Please. Let me see this. I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into <gasps> the collective oh. central hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov bad, has bro. the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find My him bad. and bring him to me alive. <laughs> I'm just putting them out of their Copy misery. That, sir. The target is Victor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session off out. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh. Sorry. Oh. Okay. What am I scanning for? Yo, are these chickens pissed at me? Oh. Oh, oh, it's you. <coughs> let me let me kill you first. Oh. Dodged. Oh. Oh, I got a charge up attack. Oh. Smash. Oh, my am, am I claiming stuff from them? I got some neuropolymer synthetic material. Okay, so there's going to be some sort of like crafting system in this game. Aww. What's with the pigs, though? Is there a way to sprint? I, I found a way to dash. It has like a little jump. Holy shit. What the hell is that? Hey, glove. Yes, Major. Any details on the target? Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Aww. Somebody help me! I'm gonna die in here! Hey, you! I'm coming! You What's alive up, in dude? there? Who's this? Oh, it's a good one. Oh, man. Oh! <gasps> oh, baited shit. me! Uh, shit, get away shit. From me. No, dude, not in the freaking toilet. Oh! Oh, go fuck yourself! Jesus. Where get my saga? Oh! Jesus. Oh. oh, Grandma! What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Thanks, Granny. Oh, you should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Dude, <laughs> Thanks geez. for the help, sweat, Sonny. <sighs> Babushka. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. <laughs> Granny Zena, what up, dude? Know. Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. Yeah. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? What do you think, dude? She's carrying a freaking fork. Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, 
Go down there. Got the it. Avalov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way too. Why is it's Grandma headed to a complex? Safe. Shit. It's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've got <laughs> Son Look of a bitch. Rush. 30 seconds until what? Ah. <sighs> 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Oh. Royally fucked. No good. Get over here, beefcake. Oh. Now, 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 now. Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. Dude, I'll wait, hold him off for now. What is she doing? You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. Holy what are you shit. Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that! Eat shit and die! Holy shit! Shit! Uh, 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 oh, dude, you got a jam at a time like this? Come to Granny. Where'd you get that thing? No Holy way. shit! You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. Yes. Oh, yes. Granny's the freaking goat. Oh. Holy oh, shit! No. What the hell is that? Oh, Granny, you dead? Is Granny here? Did Granny make it? Oh, dude, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna. This. It's. I'm in free fall in a. It's gonna hit the ground and I'm gonna go flying up. Is that how that would work or would I hit the ground as well? Oh, oh, it's it's stopped. Oh, thank you, dude. I've seen a video of someone who tried to climb one of these, and then the the elevator. St oh. <laughs> oh. What a goddamn clusterfuck. Yeah, man. Ooh. Give me some of that stuff. Oh. Hello? Hello, buddy? You good there? Oh, you got a bit of a situation. Don't worry, man. Get you out. Ooh, this is getting creepy. This is, uh... Got Bioshock 1 vibes now. We need to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how do you end up here? What's happening? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Viktor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Okay. I didn't really listen to you, bro. Help! Let me out of here! Help let you out of here. Fell for that one before. What is this? This momentous task is made possible by the use of advanced breeding methods. Breeding? With a highly developed system of biome isolation. <sighs> oh, we're in the caves now. What is this? Pocket watch? G. Oh. This is an emergency log entry. I'm a programmer named Ekaterina Vishnevskaya. There's been an incident at the Babylon complex. Robots have started killing everyone in sight. So right now, I'm in... Hey, <sighs> who's there? They found me. Stay away! I've got a grenade! Hey, lady, this is Sergeant Major Ibrahimov. I'm human. You need to come with us. It's dangerous here. Get away from me, you monster! No, listen to me! Oh, she blew herself up. Okay. What does this say? They can hear you. Okay. 
Ah, so now I uh, I put the the wheel on this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you for the gun, though. What did, I, what did you give me? Can you give me something? Ah, you did give me something. That's something good. So, is this plant going to attack me now? Uh, and the machines rose. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Forewarned is forearmed. Wait, what? What does that say? Forewarned is forearmed. Enemies can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles, that's my bot, Charles, will indicate the best moment to dodge it. Upon seeing the red highlight, press left shift to dodge. Okay. Ashes. Let's try this. May I give you some advice? Okay, well. Oh. Yo. Yo. I hit the... I hit those... I hit, I hit those. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I literally hit those. I hit Q and I hit E. Do you have to hit them like on the time or what? Okay. Also, I didn't see anything glow red. I guess we're just gonna fuck this guy up then. Uh, and the machines rose. The ashes. E. Okay. He's not. Wait, do I have to press this? Oh shit. May I give you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're yeah. all power. Okay, hold F in the direction and move. Okay, sweet. Attacks so I don't have to. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are oh, especially that's big. dangerous and may knock you down. Shit on a shingle. Why didn't you tell me that before? It wouldn't hurt to collect oh, other resources yeah. you find along the way, Major. Give me that good. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Yeah, give me all that shit, boy. Give me everything you got. Oh. Why'd you turn that thing on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and- You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Oh, Granny Zena. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade- Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Glove. Hey, how this Petrov guy managed to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without you or assistance. Oh, That's why you're here. How do I leave this? Uh, oh. Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Oh. And now I'm not. I don't know what he's. Oh, oh, this robot. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. Somebody oh. else will be cooling his heels in here. What oh. Do you say? oh, E. Oh. 
Go ahead. Oh shit, I had to type it. Easy. Oh. So now it's mine? Oh no. Yeah, dude, I like the suck mechanic. Makes looting way easier. What does this say? I see it, I see it. What do you see, my man? Have a seat, Mihail. I just need to finish my work and then I'll help you with that report. Lab Tech 84, bring Comrade Colts off some tea. I'll be with you in a second, okay? What is this? There's something in there. There's something in there. Where are those? Shotgun shells. Give me those shotgun shells. I know those are shotgun shells. <gasps> oh! Oh my. Okay. Oh, F. Okay. A Q. E. Oh, that's actually kind of so. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, let me try to. Oh, dude, you're get destroyed. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, I moved my mouse. Oh. Oh, this is actually so sick. Oh, I'm right there. I feel it. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, this is going to actually take some like skill and some figuring it out. Got it. Cool, dude. That's so. That's actually kind of, kind of badass. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was cool. Oh. Oh, sorry. I should. I should just check before I enter these rooms. I'm gonna get freaking wrecked. This guy's tanky as hell. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Medvedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Dude, I know. Dude, I know those are shotgun shells. Just give me them. Oh. <sighs> Do I not have a health bar? Okay. We'll get through this one round. We're almost out of hour, so that's fine. <laughs> no way. Back at here. Frick. Uh, the machines rose from the ashes. Dude, I'm, I'm like, I don't understand this combat right now. It's it's not telling me where to uh, dodge. Okay. May I give you. you some advice? I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may knock you down. Shit, on a shingle, why didn't you tell me that before? 
What's up, what the hell's a power surge? It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and okay. It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Speed run. Hey, sneak up on the robot and perform yeah. a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Got him. I don't know how much of this stuff I'm going to need, if it's important or not, but we're sucking everything. I'm just not going to lie. I'm not going to lie when I tell you I'm sucking. Oh, that's that's true. I'm currently sucking at this game. I died like three times, twice already. I don't understand the whole uh, blocking or like the whole dodging thing. All right, speed run this thing. Give me that. Give me that. Oh. Okay. Maybe a little bit up. No right. Oh. Oh, a little bit up. Easy. I'm too good. Skill based. My bad. There's a dude in here, right? Okay. So you're telling me a handful of oh. traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. Okay, we're back. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Fuck you. Oh, dodge that one. Someone dead? Got him. Get wrecked, nerds. Freaking robot ass. Oh, using the toilet? Oh, dude. Didn't even flush. Am I dead? Please no. Please no. Please no. All right. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that's where we're going to stop for now, but we will pick up sometime soon. This video game is pretty cool, and hopefully I get better. So we will be at this spot next time. You won't have to watch me kill those guys again. That being said, thanks for watching, and comrade out.